Hello everyone. Today we're starting Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. I have just now uploaded the game and we're getting it started. We're going to be setting up a whole new profile. We're going to be going into this and we're just going to be doing some playthrough. Not sure how long we're going to play. We're just going to go through a little bit by little bit. Just gonna make a playlist of this, and just we're just gonna continue to play through it um, as far as everybody wants to play through it. So, right now, I'm just gonna set my character up here and see how we want to do this. Let's see, where do we need to start? Oh, well, that's cute. It's energetic, bright. I think I like the frontier. It's real cutesy. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like they never get in the sunshine right there. Oh, beautiful skin color. Oh, so rich. Oh, we'll try to make it match mine more, I guess. Oh, pale. Let's see. Whoa, that's bright. I don't have any dark green. Oh, there we go. Let's do some hairstyles here. That's kind of cute. That would make a lot of sense. I, mean, I guess we could change it later. Well, I like that. Well, that was cute too. <laughs> That's probably how mine is most of the time. Just pulled up. Kind of like in the bangs. It's funny, I don't even have bangs. Maybe I should go for something a little more different. Uh, I'll keep it most like mine, I guess. Now here's going to be the tricky part. Oh, what all colors they have. Ooh. Oh, they do. We're good. Okay. Okay. Um, the different voice styles, huh? Okay. 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 Oh, that was cute. Okay. 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 We could go with powerful. Okay. 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 No, we'll go with cute. Okay, this I think is our stance, right? Is that the only two choices we get right now? I believe it is. Okay. Well, let's confirm and continue on. I'll have to definitely get us some new clothes once we um, get going in the game here. Merry 
there's that whole color. I bet everybody can already guess. Mm. I have a thing for the color purple. Look at the cute little foxes. Oh, are those? Ferrets. Town ahead. Well, that didn't look good. And who might you be? Did you come all this way here on that motorcycle? Uh. Oops, sorry, y'all. I did. Well, that must have been an adventurous journey. Your poor motorcycle tells a story all its own. It did not say adventures. Ah, oh, you needn't worry about it. I can have the repairs arranged. He's a beady eyed little fella, huh? I'll be taking it to a man named Clems, who runs our tool shop. You can pick it up later, once he's all done with it. Is he sucking his thumb? Y'all, is he sucking his thumb? Er, by the way, might I have your name? Okay, let's go ahead and put this in here. birthday. So they just go by the four seasons. So my birthday is indeed in summer. So we'll just do it that way. Interesting. Yes, of course. My apologies. I don't know how. I could have forgotten when you're standing right in front of me. It's those beady eyes. He doesn't see well. Maybe he needs glasses. Goodness gracious. To think my dear old friend's granddaughter would find her way to Olive Town. Come on then, I'd be happy to show you to your grandfather's farm. Hmm. Is something the matter? Actually, let me guess. By the look on your face, I'd like to ask <laughs> you'd like to ask me. Are you quite sure this is my grandfather's farm, sir? 
And to that, I would say, it is. When your grandfather lived here, this farm was lush and beautiful place. Emphasis on the was, I'm afraid. Now, what was the name of the farm again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Your grandfather must have told you the name of the farm, surely. What was it again? Oh, we have to name the farm. Hmm. And I don't think we're able to rename it once we name it. I'm not sure what I want to name the farm. I'm not sure if I know what a good farm name is. I think Weeping Willow Farm or Weeping Willow Pastures kind of sits with me. And I was thinking and I don't know, just something about it kind of works for me. I don't know if we get any willow trees in the game, but uh, I think I kind of like the way that sounds. I love weeping willow trees, so I don't know if it'll fit, but we're going to go for it. And it doesn't fit, so let's see. What about just using willow? I wish we put willow away for Does that sound right? Mm. I don't know. I'm just am I thinking too hard about this? Like Willow Way. You know, there's actually a lot of rocks. So Oh no, hold on. Mess that up. I wonder if I'll end up putting a rock ridge. I think like towards the back so there's some ridges or whatever. Sure, why not? Cool. Interested in taking over the farm, are you? Well, I can't say I'm well versed in the subject, but I can at least teach you the basics to start you off. I'm not sure I could see him teaching us much of anything, but uh, let's see. Here you are. I'll pass these along to you. Who knows, maybe he'll listen to our grandfather more. These are tools for developing the farm. As I'm sure you are well aware, this farm has seen better days, but those tools will be the key to changing all that. So, it looks like we have three tools to start with. Or is that just an example? Be aware of trees and stones while cleaning things out. You'll need special tools to deal with those. I realize this is a lot to take in and it might be baffling at first. Take things at your own pace and you'll gradually go grow accustomed to them. Oh. 
and do use the sleeping bag in your tent if you find yourself exhausted from work. A good night's rest will restore your energy. Okay, okay. He really does talk a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, I think we're good. He's got some other things he wants to explain, but we're going to save those for later. So let's go see what we can do. Till tomorrow. So we're already leveling up on some things. Does seem to be you need to be in the right place to do so. Let's see. Not that bad. tools out so that we can actually do some stuff. Start um, clearing out some of these trees. We press, <laughs> press Y to start clearing trees. We're definitely going to need the, let's get what we can see. Definitely going to need the lumber. something we got to that we have to repair. So we'll start moving towards that so that we are able to see what we're doing. Oh chicken. You need to watch your hearts at the top. Pretty sure we need lumber, stones, and like the weeds, grass. Actually, I think so. It's called. Let's check. Exactly. So let's try to see if we can't finish getting the stone we need. So we need a twenty. Get it out of this 
Nope, not quite. Okay, now we need to get the grass. That shouldn't be too hard at all. love to hear about the type of topics y'all would like to talk about, you know, during the moments of, you know, as we're working on things that we may not, I may not necessarily have anything to say about, you know, hey, this is what we're doing in the game. So, um, oh, I don't think we can cook yet. Well, should I end up passing out? Okay, this should be everything we need. And we can get us a. Oh, we need 30. Want that chicken. Let's see, what do we want to name our chicken hut? Mm. Name of Chick fil A. Uh, we're getting eggs from them, though. We're not eating the chickens, we're getting eggs from them. So. Be the egg factory. I mean, I can't even rename this later, so. Not too much worried about that. If anybody thinks of a better name to name the uh, chicken hutch, let me know. We want something fun. Just put it down in the comments. Y'all vote on each other to see what's best. Now let's go find that chicken. Oh, let's see, there he is. There's a good chicken. First chicken's gonna be egg egg Egbert. Maybe we should make no let's name her Chicky. We'll name her Chicky. But I'm definitely gonna need more chicken names for sure. Especially when we get to the real pretty silkies. Uh we'll confirm. Go in there and give our chicken a pet. Gotta get her some fodder so she can feed, have something to eat. Let's see what else we can pick up. We can sell, start getting some money. Keep wanting to try to speed the running up using the same button as I do in Animal Crossing, and it just doesn't work that way. But I'm trying to. There we go. 
thing is trying time to get some shut eye. And I'm gonna get something to drink. Now remember, stay hydrated. need to go into town this next day start talking to people that's very important make sure we talk to everybody as soon as possible and y'all pay attention who we talk to because we're gonna have to pick somebody now then it's time to explain it's time oh I explained how to grow crops These would be your basic tools for field work. I was going to say field care. Would have been a shorter sentence. Seeds can't be planted on untilled soil, so you will want to use the hoe to till it. Once that's done, you can sow seeds on the tilled soil. Then, and this is important, you'll want to water your crops diligently every day. Don't forget about them. After a few days of care, your crops will be ready to harvest. You can place your crops in the shipping bin <clears throat> over there. They'll be shipped out and you'll be compensated for your hard work. I think it's about time we put those turnip seeds I gave you to good use. Ah, uh, by the way, did you happen to see any wild crops while you're cleaning the farm? If you ship those crops to our local stores, shops, we can just sell the seeds, so look out for them. Uh, tomorrow I'll teach you to make good use of the logs and stones. Okay. Oh, your grandfather, great debt. I think he's up to something though. What do y'all think? And tell me in the comments who all already has the game? Who's playing it? How far have you gotten? Okay, so turnip seeds. Um, we should have some more tools, I believe. Oh, we got our cherry tree. We did get more tools. Awesome. So, first off, I don't want to use the little scattered ones like they have. We need to clear out some more area so that we can yeah, properly start one. Need to keep our eye on our town. I want to go pick up some more seeds. Just go ahead and have them on hand. We're in spring, so we need to keep an eye on that as well. be different crops for different seasons and as soon as the season ends if that crop can only be done in that season they will die there is no grace period Ooh, I can't wait for a tool upgrade. 
definitely will make all this go by a lot quicker. Missed. Apparently, I don't have very good aim with this. I do have another game in profile that I've been playing this game on. I just wanted to learn a little about it. Kind of figure it out a little bit. So if y'all do have any questions, leave me in the comments. If I know the answers to them, I'd be more than happy to answer them. If I don't know the answer, I will either try to find it or direct you to someone who does know the answer. And if I do find a video that answers the question you're wanting to know, I will definitely link that for you. Pick out a good spot for a cherry tree, too. Nice dry looking dirt. Something just flew out that dirt just then. One of those little sprite guys, maybe. I want to. Oh, so I want to go ahead and set it up so that whenever I get the sprinklers unlocked, it will make it that much easier, which would be fantastic. I think we have a lot of seeds. Got one more than I normally get, but we'll go ahead and uh, plant that bad boy right there. Probably will be moving this, but for now we are going to set it right here because that is what is convenient. We're going to get us some water and we are going to water our seeds. We're creating dust out of um, wet dirt. That's interesting. I think we're gonna go buy us a couple more crops. You know what? I shouldn't have done that. Get my seeds back. We're gonna go buy us a couple more crops, get them planted, and then I 
think we will call it for this video and then when I come back you know we'll come back to it the next time so let's see though we need to plant this beautiful tree somewhere looks like a good spot I don't think you were the trees no alright before everything closes let's run and grab some seeds And all the stores have like different days they close. A lot of them are not open on Tuesday. It's very interesting. Yeah. So let's see, we're gonna buy some goods. So these are spring, summer, and winter, but not fall. We're definitely gonna go ahead and get some potatoes. These are just spring. Mm, just spring. But you get three growings out of them. So that's good. We're at the beginning, so that's okay. These are spring and summer. Mm, I don't. I think you get a lot from radishes, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what they bring and then see if we want to buy more. And then let's go ahead and pick up some fodder for our chicken. Oh, I guess we should go ahead and talk to people while we're here. I don't think I'm going to read all that. We're just going to you know, get our first initial introductions out the way. Uh. Is there anybody else here? It's kind of weird how you can go through everybody's houses. He's available. Not sure if he's really our style, I don't know. Maybe we'll look for somebody, maybe the bad boy type. I'm rocking my purple hair after all. This is where we'll come to buy our livestock when it's time. and pets when it's time. <laughs> Maybe we'll make her our new best friend. It does seem a lot slower when you first start the game, but the overall game isn't all that slow once you get going. I actually feel like it moves very quickly, because in this game, a minute is like a real life second, I think. So the game actually moves very quickly once you get going, you kind of have to do everything you're supposed to do in this very short time limit. At least that's the way it feels to me. But it's a lot of fun.
maybe this one. Catch bugs. Hello. Oh, I think she's in there, a clothes lady. Okay, that was a pretty good bit of talking. We bought the wrong stuff. Okay, we'll just plant that. That's okay. I'm going to do my best to try and not go over an hour with this video today. So we'll just see where we end up. Let's get these taters planted. How great would it be if we could do all this planting or animal crossing? Y'all will have to forgive me if I talk about animal crossing just a little too much. I do happen to really love that game. I am thoroughly enjoying this one as well though. There's just something about that game. And it's actually my first Animal Crossing game. And I just recently got a Nintendo Switch. I haven't even had my Switch for a full year yet. A wonderful purchase. the sound effects. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be okay. You'll make it. Gotta watch those hearts. You'll run out quick. And maybe there's a way to build some up. I'll get there. That's good that they make the most of the seeds look, you know, at least somewhat different. Okay, time to do some more watering. We're gonna have to refill in a minute. Start back here. <laughs> Even water is gonna watering is gonna give us exhaustion. I got one more left and I'll need to fill up. Oh, time to fill up again.
definitely be making oh there it went darn I'll definitely be making sprinklers as soon as possible morning to you. Hope you're ready for another lesson. Today I thought I'd be a wise to teach you a bit about using raw materials. Fortunately, I'm not what you'd call a specialist, so I've enlisted the help of Nigel, our local carpenter. Good morning, Lulu. My specialty is housing and furniture, you see? But I know enough about materials to teach you a thing or two. Have you been picking up logs and stones? You can craft all sorts of useful things with them. You could turn them into fence or livestock, for one thing. If you're going to run a farm, I'd say that's a pretty good use. Naturally, you'll figure out other ways to utilize your materials as you go about developing your farm and such. Might as well teach you about markers while I'm here. The markers can, oh, makers can pro, oh goodness, makers can process your raw materials into new materials entirely. Okay, 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 okay. Splendid explanation. Quite easy to follow. Now will you use your newfound knowledge? Okay. Definitely have a lot of dialogue in this game. We will go finish getting things watered because it desperately needs it. Our plants weren't able to grow because our seeds were dry. See if I can't do it from in the middle. Mm, so far it's working pretty well. Some more water again. I think what we're going to do is finish up this current day that we're on, and I think we're going to call it for this one, and I will definitely see you in the next one. I think we'll go on our first mine today, actually. Okay, I don't have too much stuff in my pocket, so while that's watered, let's, um... Pet her chicken and let him out. Oh, not happy chicken. Not a happy chicken at all. Alright, let's let the chicken out. Make the chicken happy. Yeah, no, the 
chicken can find some food. To find us some new materials. Definitely want these right here. We want that iron. <laughs> I really am interested in what direction I'd like to see the channel go in as I'm growing. I have um, several other ideas for some videos I want to try out. I want to create some different playlists for the different types of videos. I will keep doing my silent videos. I am doing those for a reason. You know, different people like to watch YouTube. There's different people like things for a different reason. I just feel like the silent videos are awesome. Really, anybody can watch those. There's no harm in anybody watching them. The fact that there's no sound, there's, you know, no reason that somebody cannot watch them. So, I'll probably also have some that are very descriptive, like extra descriptive as far as, you know, a lot of extra visual information that will kind of be the opposite of the sound, silent ones for those who can't actually watch. There we go. I just really want everyone to be able to enjoy it. I feel like everybody should be able to um, enjoy it if it's things that they want to either watch or listen to. I do have some, you know, like jump scare type games coming up. I've never played them before. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I'm getting myself into. They're not overly scary or anything. They are designed just to be jump scare. So I guess we'll check those out. So that should be that should be pretty funny. <laughs> Hopefully I won't, you know, holler in anybody's ear. That wouldn't be funny. Just 
but you kind of see here, you know, going down, just want to really go as deep as you can. Alright, come on. Okay, well, I don't think she can handle much more of this. We got the level 8 on this one for the first time. Not too bad. I'm doing you know, too much on this one as far as what I'm not filming, so I really shouldn't miss too much of anything. So, like, you shouldn't come back and there not be, you know, a tent. There should still be a tent. So, I think this is going to be all for this video. And until next time, guys.